how to scarify a lawn for beginners. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over what is scarification, the benefits of scarification, and I'm gonna be using this Cobra 40 volt battery scarifier to do a live demonstration on the lawn behind me. Just before we get into the benefits of scarification, this unit has been sent to me by Cobra to test and do a demo for you guys in this video. It's got a fixed blade scarifier and this sort of power rake attachment as well. And I'm gonna be giving you a live demo of that in the next part of the video. So first up, what is scarification? Now scarification is a process of removing dead grass from the lawn. But it's not only dead grass that gets removed, it's also any debris that's sitting on the soil surface and also something called thatch. Now this debris and thatch builds up over time and what it can do is really choke your lawn out. It can prevent water and the nutrients from your fertilizer from getting into that soil where you want it to go. And overall, a lawn with lots of thatch is just not gonna perform as well as a nice and open lawn that can freely access all the nutrients and water that comes available to it. This is exceptionally useful if you're going to overseed your lawn. One of the key benefits to scarification is being able to improve the seed to soil contact through your grass seeds. If you think about it, if you've got all this dead grass and debris sitting on that soil zone, when you put seeds down, they're not going to be able to come into contact with the soil and that's going to reduce the levels of germination that you might find. The second benefit, even if you're not going to overseed, is to improve the efficiency of fertilizers. Fertilizers work by getting nutrients into the soil, they can be absorbed by the roots and then that allows the plants to grow. If there's this sort of choking mat of dead grass and thatch over the lawn, that's gonna reduce the efficiency of the fertilizers that you're using and you're not gonna get the best results that you're looking for. You may think of a lawn like this that's nice and green, that it doesn't need to be scarified or dethatched, but actually you'll be surprised just how much material comes out of a lawn like this. And I'm gonna show you that in the next part of the video. The third benefit to scarifying or dethatching is that it's going to make room for the healthy grass to regenerate and that's going to improve the overall density of the lawn and give it that full and thick appearance that we're all looking for. A lot of people ask me what time is the best time of year to do scarification in the lawn. Now there's a lot of mixed advice going around about this, but my preference is to scarify the lawn most heavily in the spring or the autumn time. And the reason for this is that this is the time where the grass is most actively growing. It's going to repair itself quicker and it also gives you an opportunity to do some overseeding. Now this particular scarifier comes with this attachment, which is a sort of spring time rake attachment but it also comes with a second attachment, which is a fixed blade. The scarifier is a bit more aggressive and it's gonna really tear into that thatch and maybe just hit the top of the soil profile. The rake isn't gonna be quite as aggressive. You can use this thing, for example, for maybe tidying the lawn up, light raking throughout the season, or even picking leaves up and things like that off the lawn and other types of debris. But for scarification, we want the fixed blade cartridge in there because that's gonna tear and rip out all that thatch that we don't want to be kept into the lawn. So this is the lawn that we're going to scarify today. It's in fairly good health. You can see it's still green, but the colour isn't really where we want it and it has struggled over the summer months coming into autumn. You can see if you look closely we've got some brown spots of grass and we're going to run the scarifier over it and we're gonna put some fertilizer over it and that's gonna help the lawn rebound and come back before the winter. The first step of scarifying a lawn is gonna to be to cut it and that's gonna allow the scarifying unit to do its job right into that thatch layer which is sitting beneath all of the tops of the grass blades. Now 
Now, after you've cut the lawn like this, things might not look great in color, but this is all part of the process. And sometimes you have to take one step back in order to take two steps forward. So the next step is we're gonna be using the scarifying unit itself. This unit is a 40 volt battery powered scarifier from Cobra. Now I've already mentioned that it comes with these two attachments and the one that I've got in there today is the Solid Tine Scarifier Blade. On the top of the unit, we've also got this height adjustment here. Now when we're scarifying the lawn, I'm gonna do two passes, one in this direction and the other at roughly about a 45 degree angle in the opposite direction. Now in terms of setting the height, most machines will have an adjustable height setting and you can see this one here just moving in and down as I'm using this dial. Now many scarifying units come with this bag catcher on the back and what you'll tend to find, especially if you haven't scarified your lawn before or even if your lawn producing a lot of thatch, these things are going to get full very, very quickly. I put this on just as a bit of a demo and you can see even just from a couple of passes on the highest setting, the bag's already completely full. So you can see here, this is the debris we're ripping out of the lawn and the scarifier itself is making these little tracks. And these tracks are ideal for overseeding. The seed's gonna just drop into there and you're gonna have a really nice seed to soil contact which is gonna help your germination. So I'm just gonna rake up some of that debris from the first pass and we're gonna do another pass and we're gonna go in a little bit more aggressively this time and really go to work on the thatch that's left in the lawn. So I've just finished the second pass and you can see all this dead grass that's just been ripped out of the lawn. I'm going to actually chuck this away, uh, empty the catcher and then change over to the um, spring rake cartridge and I'm going to use this one just to tidy up some of the uh, lawn. Now you can use a regular manual rake to do this or blow it off but when you've got one of these attachments, it's really easy just to change it over on the machine. And then this is just gonna lift out any of the grass that we've removed and just give a better finish to the lawn before we move on to the next step, which is fertilizing. So the way to change the cartridge on these machines is obviously check the power's isolated. Um, I'd actually recommend for safety reasons that you should probably remove the battery at this point or make sure your unit's unplugged from the wall. So we're gonna do that. And that way, there's no danger of it turning on.
and we can just load this second blade in. Overall, the machine's done a fantastic job of ripping out all the debris from the lawn, and I quite like how it's cleaned things up after I've finished. The lawn is now ready for overseeding and feeding, and I'm gonna be doing that in the next video. So if you'd like to see how this project turns out, subscribe to my channel and click the follow button, and that'll basically alert you to the next video where I start to overseed and feed this project. Just to give you a bit of an idea of what's happening there, I'm going to use a seed starter fertilizer. We're going to be overseeding any of the patches with the American dark green grass seed. Now this seed is a uh, ryegrass seed, which means you can pretty much seed throughout most parts of the year, right the way through an extended growing season. And then as the grass starts to grow, and I've done my first couple of cuts, I'm gonna feed it with the phase release fertilizer, Dark Green Autumn. Thanks for watching. It's Matt, the Garden Lawn Care Guy, and I'll see you in the next video.